Intel, old chap. Possibly a tad late. He doesn't like double glazing. Mess, mess, mess. Or salesman. Mess, mess. Just be thankful you're not wearing spotty underpants. Mess, 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 mess. Ah. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. You can buy them red and black striped jumpers in any high street. Wait, eh? Colonel? What's wrong? There's a bar of two words. First word, spotty. Second word, <laughs> underpants. <laughs> well, at least her dad's not back yet. <laughs> Dennis! What on earth? And now we have to get the whole house double glazed just to buy off that salesman. You can't deny it, Dennis. That dog is getting worse. Rubbish. He's becoming a real problem. Oh. Nah. Boredom, that's what it is. Oh. You don't even know this was Nasha. Could have been rats, mice. He's bored, Dennis. He's got no one to play with while you're at school. <laughs> Something has to be done. <gasps> Dad, you're a genius. Curly, Dad says I have to get a new pet to keep Nasha company. <laughs> eh, what? I didn't say that. Meet you at the pet shop in ten. Ha <laughs> 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 Okay, we're done here. The Nasha friendly pet pal does not exist. It's a myth, a fairy tale. A... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Seriously, Nasha, this is the one. There's just something about him. <laughs> Say hello to the Abyssinian Wirefin Piranha. <laughs> Oh, Nash proof glass with titanium lead and integral oxygen supply. Nice. What does genius wear, boys? A striped jumper, jumper Dennis. Dennis. Ah, oh, there you are, lads. Status report 1600 hours. Operation Pet Pal, a complete success. Zero casualties, minimal collateral damage. Oops, bagged and tagged. Two, in fact. Um, great. Thanks, Colonel. Could be time for rations then, eh? What do what piranhas like to eat? So, basically anything, yeah? Pretty much. Let's see. The Abyssinian wirefin piranha is almost completely omnivorous. However, <clears throat> under no circumstances whatsoever should this fish ever be fed a... Uh, what? <coughs> pies. As they have been known to cause a... Uh, what? Extreme flatulence. <laughs> Mother, I may have to insist on fewer sprouts at dinner tonight. Ah! Ah! What on earth? Okay, Walter, stay very calm. There's no easy way to say this, but there's a hungry flesh eating fish in your bath. Actually, that was pretty easy. Respect, Curly. Cheers, Dennis. I try. Are you all insane? Get out at once before I call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
There you go. No harm done, eh? <laughs> Once again, Walter, I am so sorry about this. Well, I do sincerely appreciate your cooperation in this matter. And we sincerely appreciate you not suing us without mercy till we end up homeless, destitute and scavenging for scraps in dustbins. Not at all. Maybe they can have a moment to say goodbye, though, eh? Don't be absurd. Disgusting thing deserves everything it gets. Chop, chop. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hey, are we smooth or what? And this year's award for outstanding performance in a fish-themed rescue caper goes to... Nasha! Nash Nash! <laughs> oh. It... oh, no, I shouldn't. Well, I'm sure heart can't hurt. Oh, at least you can't escape this time. Long as nobody ever finds out we've still got the piranha, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, Dennis. Yes. Just came over to uh, say sorry. Yep, that's it. Right, sorry, Walter. Sorry, Walter. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Um, Pie Face, he just wants to give you a really sorry hug. Duh. Get out before I call the police. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Bye, Pie. Oh, 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 oh that's not oh. <laughs> You are all disgusting. I need to use the lavatory. You will all be gone by the time I come out, or else. <sighs> okay, where'd the fish go? What's up there, Curly? Uh, that would be the lavatory. <sighs> of course it would. <laughs> There's no toilet paper! <laughs> <laughs> to buy toilet paper, and if you are still here when I get back, you will taste my wrath. Oh, nice. I like a bit of soup. Wrath, not broth. <laughs> OK, let's go get that fish. <gasps> OK, we all clear on the plan. Um, catch the fish? I didn't say it was a fancy plan. him every day. Nash, nash. <laughs> nash. So you won't get into trouble gnashing stuff when I'm at school. I know you've still got that fish. Sorry, Walter. Don't know what you're talking about. I know it, and I'm going to prove it. You see if I don't. And what I'm... Oh! Okay, now 
pressure. Nobody gets in that door. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Please, Mum. I can't take another holiday at Auntie Prue's. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Auntie Prue, 500 star jumps before breakfast is too much. Nonsense. You need to earn your wheat jump porridge. Now, put your backs into it, spit spot. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going back to Auntie Prue's. We've managed to find a holiday camp you haven't been banned from. And there's loads of activities to keep you out of our hair. I, I mean, happy. Mm. Adventure playgrounds, archery targets, scavenger hunts, fun, fun, fun from dawn till dusk. <laughs> Sounds brilliant. Let's get packing, Nasha. Rest, rest, rest. Oh, son. <laughs> Dad, saves me taking it down. Are we there yet? For the five hundredth time, no. Uh, try and enjoy the country here. Insert pipe K. Into slot nine. <laughs> Taking care not to. <laughs> can I check out the campsite, Dad? Of course you can. Soon as you get your tent up. <laughs> That'll keep him quiet for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All done. I'll be back for tea. See ya. <laughs> hey! Welcome to Camp Sunshine. I'm Billy, your crazy camp host. Okay, I'm looking for fun. Am I right? I'll show you the way and let you start relaxing. Oh. And here's our activity tent. Now, you don't want grown-ups cramping your style, am I right? So, I've left it all in the capable hands of my favourite nephew. Cool. <laughs> Walter! Yes! I see your mum got the leaflet. <laughs> she told me all about Auntie Prue's and I couldn't bear to think of you having another terrible time on your holidays. Yes! Right then, I'll leave you to get on with it then, shall I? <laughs> Bye-bye for now. Cool! Archery! <laughs> Felt it pens! So we can do some fun colouring in, of course. Colouring in? What about archery? Oh no, Dennis, that's far too dangerous. We're exploring the creative arts. Creative, eh? Stay within the lines. Hmm. Don't forget the uh... oh, no! <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge here. Oh, if you want to stay, you have to go oh, to do what I tell you. Oh, maybe I don't want to stay. What? Would you rather go back to Auntie Prue's? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a bracing ice cold char. That's <laughs> okay. Maybe it is better here. Just yeah. Hmm. Of course it is. You'll find my activities a perfect blend of healthy exercise and educational fun. <laughs> to the adventure playground. <laughs> That's more like it. <sighs> This is not more like it. We should be climbing it, not cleaning it. And mess it up with your muddy feet? Not likely. <laughs> more water. We need more water. Whatever you say, Walter. <laughs> about it, you'll have to leave. And we both know what that means. 
Uh, can't I have some lemonade, Auntie? Nonsense. Prune juice is good for you. Uh, <laughs> ah, this holiday's turning into a real washout. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> oh, hello, son. Ready for some beans and sausages? Proper camping food. Hey, hey! Everyone's having a lovely time. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Yes. Walter said you weren't settling in. He thought you may be happier on holiday somewhere else. Auntie Prue's, was it? Oh, oh behave! Oh, oh behave! Tell you what, there's a scavenger hunt tomorrow. Yeah! Why don't you take part and see for yourselves that a Camp Sunshine holiday is the best holiday in the whole wide world. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, I love my job. <laughs> Dennis, please find a way to get along with Walter before he gets us all kicked out. And before we have to go and stay with Auntie Prue. Oh, it's going to be all right. Oh, I'm not letting Walter ruin our holiday. Time for Plan D and G. <laughs> Morning. I've made breakfast. Are you feeling all right? Of course. Why don't the two of you go for a nice early morning walk? I'll look after B. Like Dad says, proper camping food. Hope you're hungry, B. They're the best scavenger list ever. Those beans brewing yet, B? <laughs> now to print it out. Oh, what is that pong? <laughs> Keep watch, Nasha. <laughs> Let's make this list a bit more interesting. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. Nash, Nash! Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Thanks, B. Now, the scavenge hunt rules are simple. Like you, eh, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Collect as many items on my list as you can. But beware, many of them are rather surprising. He's not wrong there. Nash, Nash! Uncle Billy and I will judge the winner when you get back. On your marks, get set, scavenge! <laughs> Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Scavenger hunts, Walter. I put loads of fun items on this year. Uh, my megaphone! Hey, wh what are you doing with that? It was on Walter's list. Look. Let me see that. The, the red toilet roll, five points. Birthface cheek. Uh, a hot dog sausage, ten points. My dinner more like. A pair of polka dot pants, a hundred points. All the tent pegs you can carry, ten points each. <laughs> but I don't understand. <laughs> it's chaos back there. Who told you ought to pull up our tent pegs? <laughs> Sorry, Walter. It seems you can't be trusted to be in charge. Am I right? Yes! Hey, kids! Who would you like in charge? Yes! I can't hear you! Yes! Well, looks like we have a winner. Am I right? Yes! Oh, I'm not wrong. Time for some proper fun. Colouring in the archery targets. Huh? Style. Hooray! Uh, hang on, Walter. Someone has some tent pegs to replace. Am I right? No. Oh, cheer up, Walter. We're on holiday. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes.
minutes to finish today's experiment. With my personal Junior Genius Lab kit, that should present no problem, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Creature, my beak is broken. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, then pair up with Walter, Dennis. What? Oh, surely you two can work together for five minutes. had to evacuate the entire school because of the mm, smell. Do you have anything to say for yourselves for ruining Mrs. Creature's experiment? Yes, Headmaster. It was all his fault. I told you not to touch the beaker when the liquid oozes. You have zero understanding of slime production. What's there to understand? Puerile pranks, tawdry tricks, all child's play. Child's play? Menacing takes skill and precision timing. You couldn't menace a dead fish. I could do that in my sleep. Whereas you wouldn't last one afternoon completing my to-do list. What? Measuring the straightness of my tie with a ruler? Yeah, really hard, Walter. I do more than that. I... Boys, boys, boys. It seems we have here a classic lack of mutual understanding. But I have the perfect solution. You will each spend this afternoon living each other's lives. <laughs> I've spoken to your parents and it's agreed. This afternoon you will live according to the habits and rules of the other's household. <laughs> Stop! Swap! I'll explain later, Nasha. It's complicated. Here is Walter's jam-packed schedule for this afternoon. Jingle Composer Club. Toothpick Modeler's Symposium with the Colonel. Competitive bird watching. Swimming pool mathletics. Pet grooming. <laughs> Where do you keep your garden shears? Dennis's schedule? <laughs> For what? His after-school activities. Uh, he doesn't exactly have a schedule. He, he lives in the moment. <laughs> this will be a breeze, just as I thought. <laughs> I do hope Dennis is coping. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've studied your chords. Stand straight, shoulders back. No slouching! <laughs> now, after me, I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Um, usually Dennis just says something like, Rock! Rock? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Bird watching? Huh. Yeah. Let's liven this up, Nasha. Snake! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't the sort of thing we do with Dennis, Walter. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> So, this is a toothpick modeler's symposium. Hmm. Oh. Play with B can't be that hard. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What's swimming pool mathletics anyway? Uh -huh. Three times seven is twenty-one. Four, Four times, times seven is twenty-eight. Five times seven, Dennis. Oh, I know this one. Cannonball! <laughs> so far, you're not doing very well at being Walter, Dennis. I knew you'd find my life too hard. Meanwhile, I'm blitzing yours. Treehouse tidied, a study regime for B. I've even introduced the din makers to the principles of classical harmony. That's not being a menace, Walter. That sounds like things you do. Epic fail. 
Boys, you have one more chance to live each other's life before the day is done, or... I'll pair you up in every class until the term ends. Seventeen times thirty-two is five hundred and forty-four. Eighteen times thirty-two is five hundred and seventy-six. Nineteen times thirty-two is... Ribbit. OK, time for plan D, G and W. We need to help each other if we're going to get through to Tester's experiment. Very well. Listen carefully. After swimming pool athletics, it's bath time. Make sure you use plenty of soap. Then it's afternoon tea. This is very important. You must use the scone fork. It's second from the right. Do not use the Battenberg fork. OK, but Walter, you've got to think like a menace. Remember, fun is always just around the corner. Come, Claudius. We have menacing to attend to. And it's bath time for you and me. <laughs> Lots of soap, eh? Low setting, I think. <laughs> today with some menacing equipment. Ooh. 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 <sighs> right, Nasha, all I have to do is get through the scone test and life goes back to normal. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> um, uh... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He certainly looks... And smells the part. <laughs> Not the Battenberg fork! Uh, use the second one! The second one! <laughs> sure. Just goes to show you can complete a successful experiment without any mischief. A plus for you, Dennis. Yes! But Walter still has to pass his test. Uh, Walter excels at everything he does. He'll be just fine, I assure you. I'm not so sure about that. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> on this device. <coughs> Too late, anyway. Postman's way out of range now. Strangely quiet today. Oh, no! I told you not to waste time arranging the pranks according to the Dewey Decimal System. But they need it sorted out. I failed. Maybe not. <gasps> no! I, well, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> But I could. Yes, <laughs> Do it, Claudius. Walter. What are you oh, doing, Walter? Being Dennis, sir. Mm, yes, I, I suppose you are. Well, well done. Very good. Uh, uh, two. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you uh, two, uh, learnt today, Walter? Well, that having no rules can be somewhat liberating. And you, Dennis? Ah, well, I learnt that, um, uh, that everyone needs a bath sometimes. <laughs> Yes, I suppose they do. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. You have successfully completed today's experiment. <laughs> Would you care to join us for afternoon tea, Headmaster? Thank you, Walter. I never say no to a scone. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who knew bath time could be so much fun? Follow me. Yes! Another 
great save by the Nashmeister. Yes. Huh? Oops. Smash, smash. Oh, smashing kick, Dennis. <laughs> I would describe that as a penalty kick, as the window's going to cost you... A whole year's pocket money. <laughs> what? No way. You know, Dennis, soccer takes sportsmanship, skill, control. Oh, give me back my ball, Walter. All of which I have. It's not about running around with a rubbish goalie like him. <laughs> rubbish? He's the best goalie there is. You'd never get one past Nasha. Oh, please. I could win against you in that mangy mutt any time, Dennis. OK, then. This Friday, my team versus yours. And winner pays for the window. You're on. By the way, I'm keeping hold of this in case you or it causes any more damage. Couldn't have put it better myself, B. Operation Menace match of the day. Empty your pockets. Right, it's a three-a-side game, so I'm centre forward. Nash is in goal. Curly, you're in defence. <laughs> what about me? Right, uh, you're the uh, the manager, of course. Oh, <laughs> all right then, lads. It's a game of two halves, but at the end of the day, we play to win and uh, you beat Walter. <laughs> Yeah, we've got to smash Walter's defences. Oh, don't say mash. Paul's lost some of his best friends to mash. Smash, pie face, not mash. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've lost you too, pie face. <laughs> <laughs> Bertie, my house. Bring Dudley and bring sausages. Sausages? Yes, sausages. Dennis! Dennis! Show up some madness! Hooray! Hooray! Let's play some jolly good football today. Captains, over here, please. I'd just like to point out that I'm not just captain, I'm also club manager, coach, CEO and... A turnip. Who has the ball? I do, referee. Hey, that's my ball. Let's get this match underway. <laughs> What's going on, Nasha? Get back in goal. <laughs> A heinous misdemeanor has been committed. According to the official rules of grudge match football in the park, their team's disqualified. Game over. Uh, hello? Are you the referee? Do you have a whistle? Are you in charge? No. I'll say when the game is over. I'll give you one more chance. New ball, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not again. Nasha! Aww. Dennis's team disqualified. Yes! We are the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions. What's got into Nasha? Bangers. What he means is a bang goes your chance of winning. <laughs> Nasha, what's got into you? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and here is the invoice for the repair to our window. Do pay promptly. Dad gave me that ball for Christmas. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <laughs> what? This smells like sausages. Time to call in the experts. I smell a foul. Menace Substation 3. What's up, Dennis? I need you at Menace HQ. Emergency code red. <sighs> oh, that's sneaky. That's very sneaky. Take a look at this, Dennis. See the tiny particles of sausage meat all over the material? Who'd want to make a sausage-flavoured football? Someone who wanted Nasha to destroy the football and lose the game. 
Walter. Walter. Rematch tomorrow. Uh, why on earth would I agree to a rematch? Because if you don't, I'll tell everyone you cheated. <gasps> <laughs> Can't do that again. But how else could we be, Bob? Nasha's way too good at goal. Don't you worry about that dopey dog. I'm going to make sure they get disqualified for good this time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, are they? Nasha's, Nasha's. These? No, they're my granddad's false teeth. I'm going to fix them to look just like Nasha's. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Marks, you mean? Ugh, Nash has been nowhere near the ball. <laughs> Nash, Nash, Nash. Anyone have another ball? No. 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 Then it's game over. Meaning my team are still the winners. <laughs> oh dear, Dennis, you must feel so uh, deflated. <laughs> Stop! Dad, bring B. Pie face, get your beaniest pies. Ref, just give me that. <laughs> Kit, please. Well, I'm very impressed, Dennis. You can't allow this, Ref. Well, I'm sorry, Walter, but I'll bet there's not a single word about farting babies inflating footballs in the rules. <laughs> this isn't potty training. This is the beautiful game. Or what I call the beautiful game. Okay then, game on. <laughs> Well done, son. Put it there. Nasha, mate, come here. <laughs> 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 Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Nasha, Nasha. I'm Baby B. <laughs> Looks like I won't be needing this bill for a new window after all. <laughs>
work in, Nasha. Nash, Nash! Dennis! Hi, Dad. Just making sure the go-kart's in fully working order, we're entering the Beano Town 5000, the race where anything goes. Oh, right. Well, uh, speaking of things that should go, uh, get that go-kart out of the garden. Ah, you heard the man, Nasher. No, 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 no! Don't crash through the fence again! Don't crash through it? OK, Dad. Nasher? Nash, 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 Nash. <laughs> Yeah, it's the best go-kart I've ever seen. Actually, it's the only go-kart I've ever seen. Team Menace is definitely going to win the Beano Town 5000. <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> I doubt that very much. Oh, yeah? This Menace machine's going to fly to the finishing line. Delusional rubbish, Dennis. Feast your eyes on... Voltron, the automatic... Hydromatic go-kart. Complete with 100 terabytes of artificial intelligence and a carbon nitride chassis. <laughs> it looks like a big egg. Oh, really? Woltron, place me into the driver's seat. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woltron obeys every command I give. Waltron, zoom around the park. <laughs> that thing drives itself. You're cheating. Oh, Dennis. I don't cheat. I innovate. See you at the race. Oh, oh, except I won't, will I? <laughs> because you'll be so far behind, I won't be able to. Waltron, go fast, please. The Beano Town 5000 should be about driving skills. Not about sitting in a giant egg your dad got you. Nash, Nash! How are we going to compete with the egghead? Hmm, don't worry. Walter's giant egg isn't going to win because we are going to turn our go-kart into the ultimate menace mobile. We're going to win by menacing. Well, Pieface, anything goes in the Beano Town 5000, so Team Menace has to be ready for anything. Nash! <laughs> Question. When does the Beano Town 5000 start? Oh, noon on Saturday. And what day is it today? Uh, Saturday. And the time is? Oh, it's uh, 11.45. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beano Town 5000. The go-kart race where absolutely anything goes. <laughs> the racers will ride their engineless go-karts down from the top of Mount Beano. The off-road track goes around the mountain through Beano Moor before finally reaching here, where the winner will get this. Whoa. The Beano Town 5000 Gold Medal. Made of 100% real fake gold. Ooh, shiny. This is it, Butch. Ha! Ready, man? Get hot! On your marks. Get set now. Go! <laughs> Anything goes in the Beano Town 5000, Dennis. That shiny metal is mine, baby. Mine. <laughs> I'm riding. <laughs> you think that's gonna stop me? No. 
people they will. What do you mean, they <laughs> About skill, courage, honor, and in my case, a giant mushy pea cannon. <laughs> oh, come on! That meter is mine! Fire! Ah! Fire again! Nash! Ah! The tennis ball launcher! Nash! Ah! Ah! Enemy fire failed to hit the intended target! Initiate counter attack! Ah! Oh no! There appears to be an equipment malfunction! Oh. Oh no. oh. Cold, mushy peas! <laughs> Still, best rations ever, what? Yes! We're winning, Nasha! Nastas! Nastas! Not for long, Diddy! Also, deploy the clamp! Genius, Waltron. Now, still excuse me, Dennis. I have a medal to collect. I think you'll buy it. <laughs> oh, Waltron! After her! <laughs> Do you honestly believe that you can defeat the mighty Waltron? Well, since you ask, yes! Because I have... <laughs> Attack squirrels? <laughs> really? What are they going to do? Attack squirrels! Attack! <laughs> ah! Time to become the next Pino Town 5000 champion! <laughs> right, if I lubricate the sides with oil, lever this bit with a screwdriver, and unscrew these bolts, perhaps I could pull it off in about. Four hours. Oh. Yes. Oh, we could just do that. Well done, Nasha. Nasha. <laughs> Let's win this race. <laughs> Finally lost those rumbustious rodents. Maximum speed, Waltron. To the finishing line. <laughs> Quickly! Skill, Angel Face! Skill! <laughs> That's how this race is going to be won! Really? I think it's going to be won with a little help from my furry friends! Huh? Uh, uh oh! Attack squirrels! Quick, Nasha! The peanut shooter! <laughs> Children, I have shocking news. 
Tomorrow, the school inspector will carry out a thorough inspection of our school. I have to inform you, if he fails us, they will close the school down. Ah! My wonderful school! Gone for good! Ah, uh, don't cry, Dennis. I'm sure it won't come to that. Ah. Oh. These are tears of joy, Curly. Tears of pure joy. Don't you see what this means? School's out forever. All if it fails the inspection. Oh, it's gonna fail, all right, Pie Face. <laughs> this calls for an extraordinary menace meeting. Usual time and place. So, I've been doing my homework. Ha! How often do we hear that? This man holds the key to our happiness. I give you the school inspector. Hello, my name is Derek Pencils, school inspector, but you can call me <laughs> the Closinator. I have closed 30 schools in four years, and that is a record. <laughs> 30 schools? Give that man a medal. Watch out, or I might close your school at all. <laughs> I looked him up online. Derek Pencils is totally hardcore. He believes in punctual, polite pupils, clean classrooms, and outstanding academic achievement. Wow, everything Beano Town School doesn't have. <laughs> it's definitely going to fail. Yeah, definitely. But let's give it an extra nudge anyway, just to make sure. What will happen to the school after they close it? I heard they're going to turn it into a flopping great fun fair. <laughs> Yeah, in your dreams, Curly. Just think, this time tomorrow, school will be a bad memory. <sighs> Today is do or die day, Dennis, so I'm giving the school a lick of paint. Want a helping hand, sir? <laughs> and fall foul of your pranking ways? Not likely. But, sir, this is the school's hour of need. We're here to help. Yeah, make the day run smoothly. See, it all goes to plan, sir. Hmm. Maybe I've misjudged you, boys. All right, you're on Operation SOS. Save our school. You can lend a helping hand. Hooray! So this is Beano Town School. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, Mr. Pencils. <laughs> I smell closure. Oh, it's probably just the drains. <laughs> Can I interest you in a cup of tea? A, a small digestive on the side, perhaps? Why not? Closing schools is thirsty work. Brew up, headmaster. We'll suck to the demise of Beano Town School. Too teas, eh? Time for phase one, Curly. The mighty wind. Two teas coming up. To my office, then. Lead on, Macduff. Right. <laughs> Who's Macduff? This is going to be easy. Right, phase two. Enter the grasshopper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grasshopper's primed and ready to hop. <laughs> Water, milk, tea, fudge powder. Yeah. Fart powder, fart powder, fart powder. <laughs> Closing skills makes me feel good. You know what I mean, Detester? Makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. And I don't mind telling you that this school has closure written all over it. Punctuality, cleanliness, orderly classrooms. That's what I look for. And most importantly, good manners. What have you got to say to that, detester? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, man! I am most terribly sorry. Disgustingly flatulent headmaster. <laughs> oh, right. Suppose you better show me around this school. Aha! Phase three. School runs half an hour late. Now for phase four. A good dollop of slime. Today's lesson, the animal kingdom. Open your books, please. Yeah! Unless my ears deceive me, that sounds very much like... Anarchy, headmaster. We prefer to call it bringing the wild into the class. <laughs> Say that again. This is not looking good, Headmaster. And that school bell is late. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pencil.
Alonso! Mr. Penso! I would like to address the entire school in the school hall. Now! A flatulent headmaster, mm -hmm. chaotic classrooms and slovenly punctuality. What next, I wonder? I'll tell you what next. It's slime time! <laughs> this school has failed the inspection. After I've signed off the paperwork, Beano Town School will be closed forever. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! We did it! <laughs> Gentlemen, this has been the menace to end all menaces! Ha-ha! <laughs> Treehouse in one hour. Time to start flooding the rest of our lives. We're sorry about the school, Dennis. Sorry? It's brilliant! <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you're right. It's, um, terrible. Too right it's terrible. You'll never guess what I've just heard. in the school free lane. <laughs> Pinch me. I must be dreaming. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. After Beano Town School closes, we're all going to be sent to Drano Town School. Uh, not Drano Town School. What have we done? We have to make the inspector change his mind. Hey, but who? It's impossible. Yes. Yes, this is. Yes, this. Necessarily, Curly. We think we might have found a way to save the school, sir. <laughs> Nasha? He's a bona fide genius. He's a dog. He's indognito, disguised as. Two, two. Right, sign here and the real fun begins. Oh, Mr. School Inspector, what if we showed you that this school harboured a budding mastermind? Uh, naturally, if such talent came forward, I might reconsider. Introducing Beano Town's star pupil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Lead on, Macduff. Who's Macduff? I have no idea. <laughs> Excellent at archaeology, which, as everyone knows, is the art of digging up bones. <laughs> Not bad, eh? A lucky fluke. We've also got the best football team in Beano Town. <laughs> 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 But I do like using my bulldozer. And anyway, these aren't core subjects. You're right. But our star pupil also happens to be a genius at maths. Oh, my favourite subject. Very well. If he can beat me at maths, I'll tear up the closure form myself. Bet you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? I'll use my calculator. And he'll use these. What, sausages? Is this a joke? Genius moves in mysterious ways. Question one. Two plus two. That's easy. It's four. <laughs> uh, next question. Einstein's theory of general relativity states E equals MC... <laughs> So fast. I came here to close a school. I don't like to go home without a bit of rubble on my fingertips. One final question. History. Who was the famous architect of the Regency period? John? That's what I thought. I'm going back to fire up my bulldozer and I'm taking these sausages with me. Nash! Huh? John Nash is the right answer. <laughs> Three little words. I will be back. We did it. <laughs> Nash, you did it. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thanks to you, Beano Town School won't have to be turned into a whopping great fun fair. A whopping great fun fair? What have we done? Uh, that